Leicester Square on Saturday night. We're going to the Lyceum, wanna get high? Led Zeppelin, few other bands. Eric Clapton, I'll take a stand. Come on, little baby, go and tell the truth. Where we doing? The West End rag. Doing the West End rag. All the West End rag. All the West End rag. All the West End rag. Come on, little baby, go and tell the truth. Where we doing? The West End rag. Um, Carrie, where is it you live down Benson? Oh, in uh, West Street and up over in Eaton Street. That was um, along, you go along West Street and it's Pitt Street first and it's a turning off. Yeah, and um, now you lived all your childhood in that road, didn't you? Yes, I was born and bred in Eaton Street, West Street. And how many were there on, in the family? Like? How many children? Seven of us. Seven children? Yes, and I was the eldest one. And what was your dad? He was a minor, wasn't yes, he? Yes, he was a minor. Yes, my dad. And first of all, um, he went in the First World War? Yes, 1914-1918. He was in the second Fort Gloucesters. We have a photo of him at home, but I can't quite tell where it is now because I have my house modernised and yeah. I just can't put my hands on it. Yeah, and when he, he came out, of the, the war, like, and you went back to mine then. Um, what was it, a general strike wasn't there or something else? Yeah, there was a general strike, and it was ever so hard times then. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, there was no money about, nothing. Yeah, so what did you have to do? What did your mum do then? Well, there used to be a, there was no money of any kind, so mother used to go to, uh, down to a place in Mill Lane, mm -hmm. where the elderly people's place is now, and they used to, it was called the Guardians, and they used to give you uh, tickets, grocery tickets, to take to a, a grocery, grocery line, and um, they allowed you so much food. Yeah, how much was that worth, do you think? Oh, I, I, oh if it was five shillings or six shillings, you was, you was all right. Oh, what did that last? For a week, was it? Oh, yes, for a week. And if they came and they saw a good pair of pictures on the wall, Mm. They used to tell you to get them down and sell them. What, to live? To live, yeah, so, so be you should get food. Well, so before you could go to the Guardians then, really, you had to be practically starving. Oh, yes, and you never, if you had an excellent home, mm. a good home, they'd tell you to get rid of it or sell it, you know, rather than they would uh, give you anything. Yeah. Well, yes, but the, a gentleman there, Mr. Brown, he was very nice. Okay. And then we used to go to, um, in Percy Street, there was the, what we call the Sisters of Mercy. Mm -hmm. And you'd go along to them and they'd help you. But in what mm -hmm. way? Well, they'd give you food. Oh. They'd you'd take a pillowcase yeah. and they'd give you bread. So this is how, well, I should imagine mm -hmm. years ago then, everybody was poor. Well, we were all in the same position. I mean, yeah. um, like, we did all try and help one another. But you couldn't really do a lot because we were all in the same position. Now what about the pawn shop? I think oh yes, thing. we used to go down there. Mm -hmm. You see, you know, um, take our bundles down and Mr. Uh, Abinson and the different pawnbrokers, they were good friends to us then. Mm -hmm. What was it you said, the, f the free... Oh, oh yes, um, the three balls outside, two to one, you never get it back out oh, when you put it in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what sort of things did you take down in the bundle? Oh, it was the bedding. They used to take in shoes, ladies' shoes, and gentlemen's coats and uh, dresses. Oh, anything then. Oh, and they used to take flats. You know, the old oh, fashioned iron. Old fashioned iron flats. Yeah. Or alarm clock. Mm. And this is how you used to have to live, really. Yes. Right? Well, from hand to mouth it was. Yes, it? it was. Yeah. Well, what about when you went to school? What school did you go to? Well, I went to Bemister uh, National. And that was belonged, it was St. John's. It belonged to um, the church across the road called St. John the Baptist. Now that was on the London Inn? Was it on the London Yes, Bundes? it's yeah. down now. Yeah, yes. well, not that long ago it was pulled down, wasn't it? A couple of um, years. I suppose, yes, a couple of years. So it yeah. might be more than that now. And uh, what about when you went to school? I mean, what was the lighting, gas lighting, was it? Yes, it used to be um, like a suspended from the roof, roof, and it was like a round, and you used to light it with a taper, like, and all the lights would come up, you know. Of course, it wasn't a nice light, but still. How oh, about the classrooms? Did you have a music room and a sewing room? Like oh, no, nothing like that. 
What were you? We were just when you was in school. You you went and then you didn't come out anymore till you came out home to dinner and then back, and you did only just go out to play. Yeah. But we never had the the facilities they got now like. No. Going across the fields and... Well, what was the teachers like? Were they kind to you? Because all the kids then were poor. Um, were they yeah. kind? Well, some was all right, but um, one particular teacher in Standard 4, yeah. she kept me down a, another 12 months. I don't think she liked me very well. Why she used was to that? say, well, I don't know real age, but she said, Yanda, you star, come out here. She gave me such a box in the year. <laughs> yes. And did they ever give you the cane at school? Oh, yes. We used to have the cane, a long, thin cane. Oh, did you ever have the cane? Oh, I've had the cane, yes. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Well, they but couldn't do it today, yeah. could they? Yeah. But, it, but when we, I got into Standard 5, it was different altogether. She was a different teacher. She was quite nice. Now, I'll tell you what, Carrie. You were still going to school, and yet you used to do work on an evening, didn't yeah, you? Yes, I used to come home and uh, I used to go to the West Street Bemis, there at Steinberg's. Mm. And I used to go up and scrub her oil shop for uh, a week, and she used to give me two shillings. And you were 13, weren't you? Yeah, just 13 then. And what did you do with your two shillings? Oh, I used to give it to Mother. Which? She, she only had five shillings a week to live on. Was yeah. it a help, Oh, it? yes. Your mother had an R, didn't she, Oh, well, she did. She died when she was 52. Yeah. My mother, yeah. I, I had good parents, but they was sort of... Uh, Dad was a minor. They didn't have, like, you know, much... Um, well, they didn't have no chance in no, that, did they? No, no. I mean, no. You, you, I know that they were well respected. Yes. Your dad was yeah. a lay preacher as well, wasn't yes. he? Yes, yes, Dad was. And when you... Started work, you went to work in Wales, didn't you? Yes, I worked in Wales from 1920 to 1933 in number three factory. Ashton Here, Gate. tell us when you started work, what you wore. <laughs> I had a man's raincoat on to start work. And what about your shoes? Uh, the pair of shoes. Oh, and it But was. still, no one um, could point finger because we were all, all the same. same. Yeah, and yet mm. to get in Wales is then. Yeah. You were called the Wills' ladies. Yeah, we used to... It was hard to get in there, wasn't it? It was. I, I left school, my birthday comes the 6th of August, well, we used to have a month's holiday. Mm -hmm. Like, it was only a month. Well, we I left in the July, and I went down to Wills, and I started just after. See, then I, 1920, I started. Now, when you started in there, where did you start? In the stripping room? Yes. Yeah. No. No. Cooling room. Oh, in the cooling room. In the room. cooling room. Yeah. Yes. Now, can you remember some of the names of the either the girls you worked with or the four women? Oh, I can remember Miss Rexworth, eh? Yeah. That was in the cooling room. Then we went to, um, I went to the stripping room under Miss, Re Miss um, Parkhouse. Mm -hmm. She was the under four woman. But Miss uh, Meredith was the four woman there. And then I, I, I went to the um, machine room that was the top of the building, and that was Mr. Hazelwood. Now, when you worked in there, Carrie, your mum was taking you ill, wasn't she? And yeah. you used to have to go home during the dinner hour yeah. and look after your mum. Yes. And then go back to work again. Yes. And then come home again on the night time and do some more work. Yeah. In fact, you never used to go to bed, did you? My mother had rheumatic fever when my brother was born, mm -hmm. my youngest brother. And I used to work in Wales, I was about 18. And then I uh, did go home and do the work, and we used to, when I did uh, my, to see to my mother, I used to tie my brother Jim to the bedstead so that he shouldn't crawl into the fire. Yeah. And we used to have um, the old stone jars that was, we used to have pop in. Mm -hmm. We used to fill that up with water to put to her feet. Oh. Yeah. Now, this began to get you down and you were yeah. ill, weren't you? Yeah. And Will sent you to their convalescent? Yes, at Hallam House, Cleveland. And what was it like down there? Oh, nice, very nice. But I still wanted to get back home. Now, I know on a night time you mm. think, well, you didn't go very far no. because of the looking after your mum and the kids mm. and everything, but you did go to a girls' club. Yes, the Clifton High nice School Working Girls' Club. It's still there in uh, Hebron Road mm. in West Street. And who ran that club? Uh, the ladies from Clifton, Miss Page then, but she's Mrs. Harvey now, 
and um, um, oh, quite a lot of, of people. Lady Baron was another lady there. Of course, some of them are dead. And a lady that was at uh, Noel West in the corner cottage. Oh, yeah. She yeah. was there as well. Now, you went on holiday with them, didn't you? Yes, I, I did go with them to uh, Peyton and Timmer. Mm. Yes. Now, you know when, uh, you on a Saturday night, sometimes when your mum was well, you know, um, mm. after a rare illness and everything, yeah. you used to go to the town hall, didn't you? Oh, pitch? we always went to town hall, mother and I. Yeah. yeah. Now, name us some of the pubs, Carrie, down Bent Street. Oh, my wrong. gosh. Um, there's a lot not that have gone. There's um, the Hope, the Clock, the Myrtle Tree, mm -hmm. um, the um, Exchange, the Jolly Sailor. Yeah, all those that. are gone. Yes. And yeah. um, remember, you were telling me about that picture house. Remember? Oh, the Penny Pop. Now, why was it called the Penny Pop? Well, we did go down there, and that's where the Dockers Hall is today. Mm -hmm. And we did go down there, and um, we'd go in for a penny. And they did touch him with a with a comic, but when you came out, you came out with more than you went in. Come out with she a was yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And what about in Bemister? I think the the Tesco's there now. What was that? Was it a cinema? No, not no. There, I can't remember a cinema there. Oh, at the store, the Bemister store that was opposite. Um, Renaissance is there, the meat shop there. Yeah. That was there. That was bombed during the war. Yeah, that was a cinema, was it? No, it was a well, it was a theater. Oh. It was a cinema, but they used to um do variety yeah. at the time, right? And used to see the dogs jump through the hoops. But it was a cinema. Yeah. That belonged to the Bristol Hippodrome. By stall, it was, you know. Now, why was it your parents moved to Norwest? West? Because they lived in Norwest, West, didn't they? Yes, but there was a big fire where we lived. The Panda factory mm. caught fire. And it was while I was in Wales. It was in March. And uh, the foundation of the houses... Uh, like, well, moved, I suppose. Yes, and yeah. we had to get out, see? So then you came to Norwest. West? Yes. Yeah. My mother was in Elminster Avenue, but she didn't like it. She only, was the, like, only lived two years. Yeah, but your dad... My there. dad lived six years, yeah. And then when your dad died, your brother took the house over, Yes. Didn't he? Well, I took it first. Yeah. And then my... Arthur was in the army. All my brothers were the, was in this war. And my husband was in the war. Mm. So they gave me the option of taking over the house, provided I kept home for the boys. Mm. But then I decided it wouldn't be fair to Arthur because that was his house in Throgmorton, where I still am. Yeah. So you let... When so my brother, brother had that, that was in the Navy. And he lived there for how many years? It was a long time. Oh, yeah, nearly 40. Yeah. And then just... always moved out. Now it's yeah. more flat. Yes. But I'm still in my house. I've been there 37 years. Yeah. May. A June. Now, at one time, you wanted to go back to Benister to live, but it's a different place now. Oh, isn't it's it? entirely different. Yeah. Yes. It's not the Benister I knew. No. I mean, we say, of a Christmas, there was palm tins and all the shops. Well, I mean, you could go down in all the cards was a, down the windows and all the toys, mm -hmm. and you sort of say, oh, well, I'm going to have that for Christmas. But all I did get was a 6-3 black dolly. And if of a patchwork from the front of one of the houses, she did sell you. Mm -hmm. and, but still, we were content. Yeah, but you, you had an art be. though, didn't you? Oh yes. And you we went to then. work. Well, you worked right from you was thirteen, and you're mm. still working now. Yes, I worked now at the Broadway Cinema. So you worked all your life. Yes, I worked at the Theatre Royal, and I was sixteen years at the Steam Navigation, mm. and I've been in nearly all the shops scrubbing. Yeah, you like yeah, scrubbing. I don't you? mind at all. Yeah. Well, you worked on the Theatre Royal. I bet mm. that was interesting. Yes. And I know that you met a lot of, well, famous actors and actresses. Yes. Come on, Carrie, tell us a few names. Well, I met John Mills and his wife, Mary Haley Bell. Mm -hmm. And I've met Paul Robeson. Paul Robeson? Yes. And James Cagney. Yeah. And we, Georgie Wood. Mm -hmm. And we were at the um, opportunity of seeing the old Queen Mary. We got our box ready and when 
uh, Sybil Thorndike opened the theatre after it had been shut down, which she stoops to conquer, and she came to see her. And of course, we had a good view of the old Queen Mary then. Oh, of course, it's altered now a lot. Yeah. yeah. No, they got a ghost mm. down there, haven't they? Yeah, they Tell did. Tell us about um, that room on top of the theatre. Yes, it was. Um, a, it's a staircase. I don't know if it's still there, but. When you get to the top, the door's locked, and they have never been unlocked all the time I, I was there. But they say it's David Car Garfield. Oh, no, was he? Well, he helped made the theatre. They oh. reckon it's this. You walked, he walked. You? And also, um, Sarah Siddons. They reckon she sits in the old benches at the Theatre Royal. What, was she an top. actress, was she? Oh, yeah, she was a big actress. Oh. Yes. But my you, you could it imagine up, Yeah, but you could mm. imagine it being haunted. Mm. You got all the the feel about it, mm. I reckon. Well, years ago, they uh, when they took those seats, you see those seats on the side of the Theatre Royal. Yeah. Well, we used to sit on those, and then they were removed. And when they were removing them, they found different coins and a hunting whip underneath those seats when they were removed. Quite a lot of treasures. So. It, it's, it's years old there, under there. Well, you've always done cleaning, you've always yeah. worked, but you've had an interesting life. Yes, I, I'm not, you know, I've been very content with my life, yeah. you know, I'm quite, yeah. I'm glad I got good health, that's one thing to be grateful for, well, you know. Fairer than so, I am, anyway. Oh, I don't know about that. But <laughs> well, I reckon you are, anyway. got more <laughs> to go in you than I have. So anyway, I was going to say, I'm afraid of thunder and lightning. <laughs> Anyway, thank you, Carrie, for talking to us. Leicester Square on Saturday night, we're going to the Lyceum, want to get high. Let's send me a few other bands, Eric Lamp, I'll take the stand. Come on, little baby, go and tell the truth, where we're doing the West End Rag. Doing the West End Rag. All 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 the West End Rag. Come on, little baby, go and tell the truth, where we're doing the West End Rag.